Hello, welcome to Trosel Talk. I'm Michelle Trosel. This is episode 21, Itty Bitty Books. Sometimes the best thing that we can do to grow a writer is to provide some novelty in the writing process. And one of the simplest ways to do that in our classrooms is by providing interesting paper. And one way to do that is by creating itty bitty books. So let me show you. All you're gonna need is a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. So I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper here. I'm going to fold it hot dog style. So that is the long way. Now I'm gonna take my hot dog folded paper and I'm gonna fold it hamburger style. So that is the short way. And then I'm going to fold my paper one more time in that same direction. I'm going to open up the whole piece of paper and you can see I now have these eight sections. I'm going to fold my paper again, but hamburger style this time. And now I want to make a cut from the folded edge of the paper just to the point in the middle where all of those creases come together. So again, I'm gonna start with my scissors at the folded edge and I'm gonna cut along that crease just to the middle where all of my creases meet. So if I unfold, you can see I've got this slit in the middle of my paper, fold it again, hot dog style, give some really good creases in there. That'll make the next step a little simpler. Okay, this next step can be a little tricky. So watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna sort of push the ends together and just make one more crease in the middle so they're nice and creased. I'm gonna push these ends together and I want the fold to come apart. So I'm sort of making an X or a cross and then I'm just gonna squish it, okay? So let me watch, show this again, bring it together and then squish it. And then I'm gonna fold that in half. And just like that, I have my itty bitty book. So you can use these books for lots of different things thinking about something a kindergarten or first grade student might create with decodable words and high frequency words. Um, here I have the hat. I see the hat. Uh, the hat is green. This hat is yellow. So there's a book that I created today, uh, thinking about what our younger writers could do. You could also uh, use other sizes of paper. For this book, I wanted a little bit more writing space, so I used a legal size piece of paper. Uh, I was imagining that a student, maybe third, fourth, fifth grade, would read a book on Epic, uh, National Geographic for Kids, Mummies, uh, and then create their own book on how to make a mummy. So each page of this book describes a step in the mummy making process. Uh, you could even use smaller pieces of paper and then your books would be even ittier and bittier. Uh, the uh, possibilities for this activity are only limited by your imagination. Students can create narrative writing, informational writing, persuasive writing, anything. Uh, the choice is absolutely yours. I would love to hear what you and your students create with itty bitty books. So as always, let's continue the conversation. You can find me on Twitter at Trosel Michelle.